Hi, this is Keith with the Future of Fishing. And this is Cody the Fish Layer. And you're you watching, watching Explore, Explore Tulsa. Tulsa. Hello, it's great to have you with us for another Explore Tulsa. This week we found a local window to the rest of the world. Then we bait the hook to reel in a big catch. Followed by a meeting with the man behind the Copper Dome. Plus we get rolling on the river trails. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Welcome and thanks for joining us for this week's Explore Tulsa. The crew at Explore Tulsa is always trying to keep Trish hip and with all the latest trends. Yeah, that's exactly what I need, Stevie. Fashion tips from you and the other guys around here. Well, we love to help out. And recently, one of our producers found this amazing little shop downtown called Colors of Etnica. I have to admit, Carla Fernandez has found some beautiful fashion accessories. She really does. And maybe she'll know someone that can help you with your hairstyle tips, too. Etnica comes from ethnic, that means origin, and I just put the K-A because my name is Carla, and colors because all this is about color. It's about happy colors. Uh, I was born in Guatemala. Um, I moved to the Dominican Republic when I was 19 and moved to Tulsa in 2000 um, directly to Owasso, so I have been here for around 13 years. I guess that, you know, I always love fashion and I just, I think, you know, I was changed during the last years and got put in my heart to help people and I decided to start bringing to Tulsa all these art crafts that I was finding in my traveling and to show people that there is hope, there is love, there, is, um, there, there are needs behind each products they are buying. There is a lady in Guatemala that at six years old um, was beat up because she wanted to go to school. And um, uh, she was given uh, by a tourist some beads, glass beads, and she started doing little bracelets and selling them in markets. And um, she developed a company that is hiring and empowering 400 women around the volcanoes now. And um, we have a, her whole collection. She's producing belts, handbags, and um, necklaces, earrings, all kinds of jewelry made of glass beads. The style I would call it ethnic because um, all colors that are being used are ethnic. They, they come from the origin of, of every um, country. And, but mostly, uh, the new designers are using these fabrics and I'm finding all my art, art crafts and my jewelry um, in Cambodia, Thailand, Indonesia, Guatemala and Peru. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep traveling to different countries and I just feel the, you know, the desire to go somewhere else and, and I'm just, I just go and experience the markets, bazaars and meet people and I just choose whatever I feel attracted to. We have an artisan um, and he's a shoemaker. And we were coming back from, with Cesar from uh, a, call, a, a place called Panajachel in Guatemala. And we just, we just uh, got lost. And suddenly I saw a pair of boots uh, from, from the car. I mean, Cesar was driving. And I was so caught up with the boots that I stopped. And uh, I think in the last few months, we have ordered about 36 pairs of boots. We are custom made in boots. And this guy had, had to get a loan to be able to do our first production. So we are very happy to be able to help, you know, link, uh, you know to cut this poverty link on, on these people. They were not able to sell more than one or two pieces a week. But by now, I'm able to, you know, bring that to Tulsa. I'm also selling on Facebook and over the internet. So I, instead of them selling them three pieces a week, they are selling 10, 12, 13 pieces a week. So they are getting more money. They are, they are improving their quality of lives. And that's for me, that's amazing. I'm not just into selling. I also want to, uh, you know, 
people to appreciate art. I love Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa is my hometown now, and I love it. And I think we needed something like this, something different. And uh, if I'm if I'm gonna invest, I'm gonna invest in Tulsa. I love what Carla's doing. Finding folks who are great artists, then helping change their lives by getting their work out into the public. I have to admit, Carla's Place is a great place to shop at, and you can visit them online at colorsofetnica.com. You know, Trish, a few of those earrings might make some great fishing lures. Stevie, you can't use jewelry for fishing lures. Trish, the Bassmaster Classic is going on, and I know a couple of guys that would argue that anything that catches the fish's attention is fair game as bait. Oh, you must mean Keith and Cody from the future of fishing. That's right. Fishing stories are coming up next when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Shopping for authentic Native American gifts has never been easier. Whether you're looking for jewelry, art, or official Cherokee Nation apparel and books, you're sure to find all the perfect items in one place. Cherokee Nation Gift Shops. With eight convenient retail locations or shop online at CherokeeGiftShop.com. And don't miss our official Cherokee OU and OSU merchandise. Cherokee Nation Gift Shop. Convenient. Affordable. Authentic. I'm carbon dating this carpet. When you visit Video Revolution at 71st and Lewis, you won't find a bunch of money spent on fancy extras. That way Video Rev can pass huge savings to customers every day. Like the Samsung 46 inch LED 1080p smart TV for only $649. Or this Sony 55 inch 1080p LED with built in Wi Fi and 3D ready for only $1499. So bring in your dinosaur and trade up today. Video Revolution located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. For a taste of Italy in Tulsa, may we recommend Tiamo. For 20 years, Tulsa diners have come to Tiamo for the very best in authentic Italian and Mediterranean dishes. With a dining room perfectly suited for single diners or groups and an incomparable menu, it's easy to see why Tiamo has been voted best Italian restaurant in Tulsa. Tiamo now with two locations, 61st and Sheridan, and our new downtown location on the northeast corner of 3rd and Cheyenne. Tiamo, fine dining at an affordable price. Hi, my name is Carla Fernandez, and I'm the owner of Colors of Etnica, the Brady Arts District, and you are watching Explore Tulsa. Welcome back. It's time to kick back and do a little fishing with more Explore Tulsa. You are so right, Trish. And when your job is fishing, it can only get better if you can do that job with your kids. That's where the future of fishing works so well for Keith and Cody Hayes. Cody's the real star of the show, and these two have a heartwarming story that makes you cheer for them all the more. Watch out folks, this is the future of fishing, and the future of fishing starts now. I had a friend of mine, a real good friend of mine, his name is Jimmy Scanlon. He lost his son to cancer. Uh, his son was 12 years old, and at that time Cody was, I think, three. And I looked at that, and he started a foundation, the Chad Scanlon Foundation, and I thought, you know, how can I help kids that are suffering with a, with a life-threatening illness like this? And Cody, with his talents, the way he can fish, I thought, you know, let's go ahead, let's try and put this on TV. So I took Cody fishing one day, we took a camera with us, just a cheap little camera, and we filmed, and Cody just flat slayed him. I mean, he caught so many fish that day. He caught his dad, too, a few times. But I took that footage, and I took it to uh, KWHB. I showed him what we had, and he thought, this is great. You guys really need to get into this. And that's what kicked off the fishing show. Hey, howdy, folks. Welcome to another edition of the Future Fishing with Keith and Cody. I'm the fish layer Cody, and this is my dad, Keith. I really like it. I've been fishing, like my dad said, since I was three. And that was the first time I ever picked up a fishing rod. And like he said, I slayed them. It was just really fun. I mean, catching all those fish, having all, having all that excitement in you when you miss them. You just, yo! Dang it, I almost got him. And then you just throw it out there and you just have an exciting time. So I think it's awesome. And I think more kids should get out in the outdoors with their fathers or their mothers. We started in Tulsa because this is our home. Uh, this is where we want to start our base at. We want to get our fan base here. And we want to spread this nationally. Uh, and that's what we're working on. We we're actually working on that today. Before this, before I started the television show, I had uh, a couple different things. I, had, I was in the military for 10 years. Uh, I planned on making the military my career, my life, but uh, I come up with a, with a heart disease. 
and the military found me unfit. And they decided after 10 years of service, I can no longer serve in the military. Broke my heart. But that led me into working for the post office for 10 years. Uh, and I started fishing back then too. And it took a day out on the route, I had a mild heart attack. And the post office decided, well, you can't work for us anymore either. They ended up putting a pacemaker in, a defibrillator in, and I really, as far as physical labor, there's not much I can do. So it kind of led me to where I am today. Um, I'm retired from the military and, and from the post office, and basically doing what I'm doing right now is, is about all I can do physically. So I want, I want to give back to the community as much as I can. I think it's really fun. My, me and my dad have a lot in common. We like fishing, we like hunting, he's obsessed with duck hunting. So yeah, there's a lot of things in common. I mostly like, I don't care if it's on the camera or not, I just like spending time with my dad. The future of fishing is right here, these kids. I mean, that is our future, is getting them outdoors. I mean, it's that simple. Without these kids getting them back in the outdoors. And Literally, get a kid outdoors, just get them outdoors and have, let them have the time of their life. Actually, it's pretty simple to go fishing with us. You can log on our website, which is keithandcody.com, and there's a little tab over there that says go fishing with Cody. You just fill that out right there, send it to us. We like, we like to take those kids fishing. So what do you think, the girls like fishing? I don't know. They like you though, don't they? You got that right. <laughs> Now that's a life, Trish. You know, we should do the show from a bass boat. Uh, I don't really know about that, but if you folks want to catch more of the future of fishing, visit KeithandCody.com. Now, Stevie, are you much of a fisherman? You know, Trish, every time I throw my line in, the fish are laughing so hard they never bite. Wait, what are they laughing at? I don't know. It, it might be my lucky fishing hat. Oh my, now how is your hat lucky if you never catch any fish, Stevie? That's where the luck comes in. Never catching anything means I never have to catch them. Oh, well Stevie, maybe billiards is more your game. Next up, we visit the man behind Amini's Galleria. When next Fort Tulsa continues. Can, can I still wear my hat? Frustrated with your computer's performance? Looking to upgrade or repair the one you have? RK Computers at 5649 South Mingo in Tulsa has a solution. RK Computers sells new computers, used computers, and provides network installation and support. Keep your system running at its top performance. We offer the highest trade-in values and below market prices on late model desktop computers, laptops, network equipment, workstations, and monitors. Stop in or call us. Our expert technical staff will be glad to assist you. At Video Revolution, we've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90 inch TV. Hopefully only an operator. Now coming up on a 30 year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. The Royal Dragon at 51st and Memorial in the Fontana Shopping Center is celebrating their 35th anniversary and you're invited. The Royal Dragon has been and still is Tulsa's tradition to meet family and friends for a wonderful meal. It's also home of the All Day Buffet. A full menu is available if you prefer. When it comes to planning holiday events, weddings, receptions, birthdays, or an anniversary, the Royal Dragon has private rooms where you can use the entire restaurant. Hi, this is J.D. McPherson, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello, and thanks for sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. This is so exciting, Trish. Man Cave Heaven is next. Control yourself, Stevie. Our next guest is Mac Amini, and he's going to tell us how he started his business while still going to college. Now he has five locations, all carrying Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. Oh, Amini's has lots of fun stuff, Stevie. Let's let Mac show us around. I started back in 1975 when I was going to school in Oklahoma City, working on my master degree, and it was just a like, two-way store which just only says pool tables. And then I thought, you know, it's gotta be more than that. The guy who really had that little store, I was a counting major, 
and he asked me to help him. And he had the business in a bad shape and he talked me into get involved because he knew I was a number person. He left and I had to do it by myself. I had to learn everything. I didn't know anything about pool table or even what make a pool table. Well, of course, America is a place for opportunity. There's no doubt about it. I come from a business background, but I was determined. I was driven to do whatever it takes. I mean, go to school at night and do this one daytime. And it took me about two years, but I learned it, you know. I, I, I mean, I couldn't even get the merchandise. I had to pay them on COD basis. So it's just sell one pool table and go pay it, get a cashier check, go buy it, and then bring it and deliver it. Go buy another one until it took me two years to be on a regular basis with some of these companies. By then I learned what it is. Then we went to the other side of that shopping center and got a bigger store. And then I added game table and dining room sets. I, I grew up in Iran and I came here to go to school. Actually, I was a soccer player. I was one of the top players at OCU. Well, we used to come here and play soccer. We, they had some good soccer teams. Then, what was it? 1979, it was time. You know, I was done with school, and it was time to expand. And we came to Tulsa, and we found a nice location on 27th and Memorial. I thought it would be a good place to come and move and live here. So that's where we moved totally to Tulsa. Well, I don't think playing soccer would made me a better businessman, but you know, I think my business background, my family was, I had that ingredient in myself to any business, but it just you know, it happened to be this business. Again, uh, quality goods, good service, and very good prices, and good people. You know, I've got good people working for me, you know. Now we got five locations, two in Kansas City, one superstore in San Luis, which is about 60,000 square feet. Well, of course, American made pool table. I mean, you know, pool tables, which is a traditionally American brand, something was made back, back almost 200 years ago. It gotta be the yeah, American product. And really, I think investment in a pool table, you don't get more than once in your life. So you need to get something which is more value for it. And I believe the American product is the best one. The beauty really of, of, of my business, all of these years I've been in business, it's almost 38 years. If I tell you I don't have maybe 10 unhappy customers, I'm not exaggerating. It's the fact. It's just we take care of them. I mean, it's just something I proudly can say we would make sure customer come first. Perfect. I mean, he has everything on my Christmas list. Stevie, Christmas is still quite a few months away, so uh, this should give us some time to cut this down to something a little bit more reasonable. How much more reasonable does it have to be? Santa can find everything at one place. Find out for yourself at Aminis.com. Okay, Stevie, but if you're going to spend this much time playing, then you're going to have to spend a little bit more time exercising. You mean like sweating and working out? Yeah, like, you know, on a bike. It can be lots of fun. Does the bike have a motor on it? No, but I'm sure the guys at T-Town Bicycle can hook you up with even a bike that you will enjoy. We'll find out when we learn about biking with T-Town Bicycle next with more Explore Tulsa. Since 1964, Guitar House of Tulsa is the player's choice. We provide excellent customer service and the best selection on guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, ukuleles, and amplifiers in Tulsa. Check out the latest products from PRS, Martin, Taylor, Spectre, Charvel, Takamini, Alvarez, Mesa Boogie, Orange, and many more. Open Monday through Saturday. Ask about our string instrument repair, 0% interest financing, and private lessons with the best instructions in Tulsa. Guitar House of Tulsa, we'll keep you strumming along. Have you noticed your vision seeming a little narrowed and blurry? Then you may be suffering from SDTV. Let the LED experts at Video Revolution help you see what you've been missing. Like the Samsung 1080p 50-inch LED for only $749. 
or this Sony 60-inch 1080p LED for only $14.99. Video Revolution at 71st and Lewis can help you find the perfect HD. And 3D prescription to custom fit your home entertainment needs. Envision Media Group has teamed up with Video Revolution, Tulsa's leader in electronic sales, service, installation, and repair, to offer the latest advances in video production technology to the Tulsa area. From multi-camera HD production to live web streaming and TV studio production, Envision Media Group provides production services to television stations, sports organizations, corporations, and agencies. Envision Media Group's team of professionals has over 50 years of combined broadcast television experience. And thanks to Video Revolution, we now have all the latest toys and capabilities at our fingertips to produce your next project on time and on budget. Envision Media Group and Video Revolution are a powerful team and ready to tackle any video project needs you might have. For more information, visit us online at EnvisionMediaGroup.com. Envision the possibilities. I'm Michael Henderson. You're at Strictly Ballroom. You're watching Explore Tulsa. Hi, and thanks for continuing to join us for more Explore Tulsa. You know, the weather's occasionally shown some signs of spring, and folks all over town have been getting out and enjoying it on the trails with their bicycles of choice. No doubt many of those riders found their race machines at T-Town Bicycles. The bike shop can be an intimidating place. It's a lot of stuff, a lot to know knowledge-wise that a first-time buyer has no clue of. We were all there at some point, and so we want to walk them through that and make them feel as comfortable as possible. Obviously, you start off with a bicycle. T-Town's been in business for 21 years. Um, Family-operated shop, uh, catering to uh, all cycling, all cyclists, and uh, from beginning level family-oriented cyclists to your fairly competitive bike racer and everyone in between. The first time bike buyer is a lot of fun, you know, because you get to have a, a, a genuine conversation with them um, just to see what, you know, what their desires are, their needs are, what they're going to be doing with the bike. And, um, and just for the series of questioning uh, and questions, we, you know, we determine exactly what would be the best fit for that particular individual and go from there. This is a specialized sector. It actually has an aluminum frame with a carbon fiber fork, which that carbon fiber fork really helps dampen the road vibration, smoothing out the bike. Uh, and then it goes to a dual control shift brake lever that will actually operate both the brakes and also your shifting, uh, so you never really have to move your hands from the handlebars. The next bike is kind of a similar bike, except a lot of steps up in it. Uh, it goes to a carbon fiber frame that, versus the aluminum frame, which really makes the bike a lot more comfortable, makes it a lot more efficient that you get less twist in the frame, so you're getting more power to the rear wheel. They also go through on this bike and put what they call zerts into the frame, which is the piece on the fork here, and then on the rear seat stay, which acts as a dampener to reduce the vibrations on the bike and make it quite a bit smoother. This bike is someone that's gonna be a little more active. Maybe they've been in the sport a little while or just you know really wanna go hog wild at first and get a bike that they're not gonna to have to upgrade in the near future. Um, this person also is generally a, a fairly active person uh, that's gonna ride quite a bit, wants some performance in the bike. Uh, and doesn't want the bike to be what's holding them up. This is actually a bike that the pros ride. Uh, it upgrades to a nicer carbon that's gonna be a torsionally stiffer carbon uh, and it's quite a bit lighter weight. You know, even the wheels are carbon, the handlebars, the seat post, even down to the seat rails, the crank set all go to a lot more efficient designs in it, get even lighter steel, shifting better. This bike is actually also an aero frame bike, so the frontal area is reduced significantly, making it a more aerodynamic bike. If you're a pro, you know, you can top out, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour on a descent, uh, 30, 40 miles an hour just on the flat. Bicycle is the first step. You know, once we get that covered and sorted out, you know, then there's the accoutrement of, of not necessarily necessities, but stuff that definitely make the experience more enjoyable, like shorts, shoes, um, the clipless style pedals that you, in, you know, engage the shoes in. 
you know, a tech fabric style jersey, gloves for added traction on the handlebars and padding to reduce vibration, and then of course your helmet for safety. It's a healthy alternative to running, which is essentially where I came from as a youngster. Um, I transitioned into cycling and I really never looked back. You get to move along quite a bit quicker and uh, uh, see quite a bit more than you do you know, uh, in the running world, and that for me sealed the deal. We feel that customer service is king and we want to treat everyone like they're one of our own family and so that they feel comfortable each and every time they walk through the door. Ryan and Jacob really know their stuff when it comes to bikes. Both of them ride competitively and are experts at fitting a bike perfect for anyone's needs. And right now they're clearing out their 2012 models and you can check out the deals by visiting ttownbicycles.com. That's good news because I'm tired of going nowhere on that bike I have in front of the TV. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, I'm Cynthia Jessine, local karaoke host in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution, Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years with name brands like Sony, Klipsch, Mitsubishi, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance, equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lefevers, Executive Director at Circle Cinema Foundation and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Be sure and stop in next week when we learn all the secrets of the newsroom when we meet and visit with former KOTV news anchor, Clayton Vaughn. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but special thanks to Carla Fernandez for all the great fashion accessories she offers at Colors of Etnica. Thanks too to Keith and Cody for sharing their fishing stories with us on the future of fishing, and thanks to Mac Amini of Amini's Galleria for keeping my man cave dreams alive. Plus, well, thanks to Brian and Jacob of T-Town Bicycles for helping keep Tulsa healthy. Remember, if you missed any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsaChannel.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook and share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is always brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. If you're looking for home audio, home video, HDTVs. Or you want to learn how to make your iPhone iPad or other smart device run your entire entertainment system. Please stop by and say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs and we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.